everybody. Oh my god, I haven't watched bloody South Park in it must be 15 years, I reckon. It's uh, <laughs> a bit gross, actually. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I do remember though, in about mm, what was it, year 2000 or something, when uh, when the movie came out, I thought it was probably the, one of the funniest freaking things I've ever seen in my life. But um, yeah, I, I I must have matured since then. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, maybe I just matured just just a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, let's uh, let's do something, shall we? So. I got a reasonable sort of a lathe here. Um, it's a 550 length with a 250 swing over bed. Just a Chinese one. It uh, it certainly does quite a bit of stuff for me. I'm quite happy with it. The only thing is, though, pretty much almost every time I use it, I curse and swear that my chucks are just not big enough to hold the stuff that I want to bloody. Um, I want to use in it so at the same time I've had a uh, face plate that came with this thing it's been sitting here for three three years and not been used once so but for some reason it's got all bloody chunks and stuff it's the finishing bloody fit and finish on this thing is fucking shocking so I might um I don't know, I might run it through the mill a bit later or something, or maybe just hit it with a uh, with a file. This is just how it basically came. It's uh, it's got no bits or anything to go into it. Um, I have got a wood lathe, and I use one of these all the time with my wood lathe. But you know, I just put bloody wood screws straight through the back of it, pretty much, and hold the piece on the front that I want. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to um, I need to set up a sort of a multi-purpose sort of thing and I need it to be real quick and simple so I'm going to do it a couple of different ways I'm going to make a couple of different sets with this Ugh, tongue tied all right look we got some uh, 50 mil long uh, by 12 and I'm gonna put We'll chuck a washer on the back of that, and we'll chuck, uh, put that through there like such, and we'll chuck a washer on the front, like this, and we'll get one of these weird ass wonderful bastards there, and that can go there like that, right, and that is going to be one way of holding stuff in here. So chuck whatever I want in here, do that, and screw her up a bit. So that's that's one way I'm going to do it. Another washer. Another washer. So I just went to the hardware store, by the way. Oh, jeez, it was fun. Ugh. Hardware store and a budget. Yeah, wonderful place. Chucking all these buggers on here, like such. Nope, forget me washer. And in a second, I'll show you the other way that I was thinking of doing this as well when I need to have something on, hold something on here. Trouble is, you don't know what you're going to put on here and what you're going to need until you actually need it. That's the that's the thing about this. You could spend you know hours, buddy, setting this all up into something, but unless you've got whatever the hell it is sitting right here, you've got no idea of what you need to have it stay on there and be used like. If I've got something fairly large, but at the same time it's flat, then these are going to stick out way too far. And my K2 
cutting tools are not going to be able to get into this plate. But then again, if whatever I'm holding is friggin', you know, going to stick right the fuck out here, then that's going to work good. So, yeah, you basically just don't know what the hell's going on. I think the other way to do it, the other, the other things was I was going to get bits like this and drill holes in them and use them flat back this way so you know say something's got a lip on it and then sticks out a little bit or whatever then you can bolt these down on here and hold them in there the other thing I was going to do was get where is it the other way I was going to do it is I wanted to make up some bits like this and they can be attached through there like such um, but I do different sizes I do them so they're a lot thinner so we moved up and down but at the same time you could also put like the nut head in here backwards like this way and you could squeeze it down you know if you've got a fairly flat sort of thing you could squeeze that down that way and that's going to hold it as well so you can't you can't prepare for everything you're going to need all i can do is just get this set up so you know it's workable for one situation or another and then um yeah go from there but I'm pretty sure this is going to come in handy because there has been so many times I've gone to put something in this thing to hold and the chuck is just too bloody small. I don't know what the diameter of the chuck will hold. I think it's at 70 mils or something it'll hold, which is, you know, pretty bloody limiting really when you've got, you know, a, uh, a 250 swing over bed <laughs> looks like a racing clutch plate <laughs> <laughs> the fun thing about this is it's going to be even worse than a forge or chuck when you're trying to get it bloody centered if you want to like, shave the sides and not just the face. You know, spend quite a bit of time trying to work out what center is. Lovely truck brakes for a uh, cattle truck. You can tell it's a cattle truck because of the noise they make. about something like that you see so this is one of these cubes I was making up and like I just like lost interest in that one so I could like loosen these up like such Are we going to have, is that going to be big enough? No, it's a fraction, the cube is a fraction small. To be put in there. Or is it? It's hard to tell until you start doing up some of these things. Like such. because I'm not going to make the cube round, we only want to surface it, it's not going to matter if it's slightly off, off candor. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. It will hold it. Grab the spanner. And give that a bit of a tighten. Bit of a tighten. Mm. 
Oh, such. Hold that down, do the same to that one. Yep. Now, let me have a look at that. It goes down like that. sit on top of the washers but in the nuts in my nuts baby Well, there you have it. Look at that. Well, there you go. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Excellent. So then the uh, your bit comes in and shaves down on the surface that you wanted. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Off you go. I'm actually pretty happy with that. See, that is going to actually do the job I wanted. And that is, that is on there. And I'm shaking the whole way. See, there we go. Everything falls ass overhead. That's how. I'll show you the back of this. That's how she's set up, like such. And that's pretty good because there was absolutely no way in the freaking world that you would get that uh, that cube in that chuck. That cube is actually even bigger than that chuck. Well, I'm pretty bloody happy with that. There you go. Um, something, uh, something from nothing. Um, what did they cost me? It cost me about twenty bucks, I think, and a whole shitload of bolts. Nothing's cheap around here. So, and uh, like I said, I probably wouldn't mind doing these up like this. Putting some of them on. Um, what I'd actually think I'd like to do, I've crossed through that, but that doesn't matter. It's only just sitting in there very loosely. What I think I'd actually like to do is um, put probably two threads in there like such so when they go in these oblong bits they'll just they'll just slide straight in and straight out like this and then if you want to just use them sideways you take out one nut and you just put it in once sideways like this and then you can hold it on whatever angle you want and also, if I'm doing it that way, then I don't need to have the washers. See how I've got the washers underneath these pieces, like such. So you don't need to do that either. Because that'll be big enough to just sit on the outside of it like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's something I think I'll, um, I'll do up later on. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right. All right, peoples. Well, everyone stay safe, be good, and uh, we'll see you around like a wrestle trendsetter. Check is.